Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 86 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. Glad to have you here. And we've got uh, many thank yous for you all for the support that you gave us, both with the poll that we put up last week and then also the fact that we had so much interest and, and sales uh, in the month of November, especially the last day. You guys did a good job. I don't think that we crashed the website, but we did have a lot of sales come through and that was really awesome to see. Uh, as far as updates go, uh, we have um, fast tests going out every day pretty much. And then the sex determination for both pythons and colubrids are going out usually twice a week. So those are still going well. As far as panels, uh, the next panels, we will likely have results about a week and a half from now, maybe two weeks. So next week, I'll give you an up, another update on that. Uh, when the next run is going. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for updates. How are you doing, Kayla? Hey, Ben, I'm doing well. Um, I am, so this episode's gonna be kind of short and it's gonna be a little market researchy on our part a little bit, but that's important because that's how we learn, learn like what you guys are feeling, get an idea of what y'all want best and how we can best serve you um, yeah. uh, as breeders and keepers. So. Um, I'm excited to see like what I'm excited to see everybody's feedback, but just to start us off, we got some gratitude, uh, for everybody. Um, as Ben mentioned with the November sale, it was awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> really glad that last day was good too. Uh, how's, how's Sean feeling down there in Texas? Have you talked to him? Yes. Yes. Very good. We're very thankful. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely, this is the second one we've done and I don't know when we'll be able to do it again, but, uh, it's, it's something that we definitely appreciate. Cause like we've told you all, it helps us pay our bills during this, these slower months. Um, so that's great. And then also helps you all cause you get testing at, at a lower price. And even if it's something you're pre-buying and you'll use in a, in a few months or whatever, you'll, you'll know when you get to use it, you, you get it at a lower price. So, so I think it's a, a pretty, pretty good win-win situation. So we're, very thankful for the support from that. That was awesome. Definitely. Um, and if you uh, didn't take advantage of November, that's a okay because there's still plenty of ways for you to save if you want to get uh, different tests. Um, for morph testing with ball pythons, um, just ball pythons for now, uh, on Clutch and Morph Market, you can get a la carte style testing. Um, so on Clutch, they're called bundles where you can get uh, two, three, four, or more um, mutation tests, uh, in a bundle. Um, it's a really good value without having to spring for the full panel test, uh, which we're going to be talking more about here soon, but just wanted to make sure y'all knew that, um, we can, we're still looking to help you guys out. Um, even if the big, big sale on morph market is over. And one of the replies, I don't remember if it was in social media or on YouTube comments, but they said that, uh, you know, the uh, ability to get custom, you know, have custom results uh, is something that would be really helpful. And and that's what we have with this. You don't have to order a panel if, if you're just interested in three or four. They, they said we're kind of in a, a quad world now. There's lots of people working with triples and quads and even sometimes more than that. So so these uh, build your own and, and bundles are an excellent way to get a, a good deal, be able to test for multiple things on, on each animal. Definitely. Yeah, no, I see a lot of quad heads in the, especially in the world of ball pythons, because, you know, uh, we've been doing this for a while. Uh, but if you have several different quad hets uh, that you need to test and you, you're literally ordering them in bulk, uh, you can email Sean at raregeninc at gmail. Um, that way you can see if you can get even an even steeper uh, discount on that. So definitely take advantage of it. Um, but as far as stuff going on in the reptile community, uh, we actually got a really, really sweet shout out from none other than Balls of Fury, Ball Pythons. Um, and uh, Mike and Darius uh, did a whole bunch of shed tests for some of their animals, some of whom we've actually shown off on uh, on this show before. And so it's really exciting that we got to test them. So Ben, do you want to talk about them? Yeah, they've got some really pretty, especially lavender albino combo things going on with that, Ooh, the yeah. hypo there. I really love it's got all kinds of cool stuff going on. I uh, love the hypo boy down there. I think his name's Guapo, uh, which is I a great so. name. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had a Beyonce and mm -hmm. yeah. Beyonce, Ruby. Um, I'm trying to remember all the names, but I I love people's snake names. So. <laughs> they had some great names. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh unfortunately they didn't get all of the results they wanted. Um, they're still waiting on some results though, so there's still a chance to turn it around. But I think it was uh the results they got in, it was like the stuff they were looking for or hoping for the most did test negative, which sucks. But now yeah. they know and they can change their uh, you know, they can change their breeding plans going forward uh yeah. based on that instead of having to wait a few years to grow it out and then breed it and then, then be disappointed. Yeah. Um, I wish we could send out all good news, but it's not all good news, but it is. Yeah. I always do tell people, uh, at least now, you know, <laughs> exactly. Um, and I mean, like they said in the, in the title and the thumbnail shed testing, change all of their ball Python breeding projects. So yes. it's so important. And we really appreciate the shout out from those guys. Um, yes. love working with y'all. Um, and love, Oh my God, I love their Instagram. Uh, they have a huge, pretty good following on Instagram uh, oh, yeah. for good reason because their pictures are so good. Yes, um, yeah. If you haven't been on their Instagram, go on there and their YouTube. They've got really nice videos um, going over shows that they go to and breeding that's going on. And um, the other thing that I really like that they're doing um, from like a breeder standpoint, uh, mm -hmm. many breeders are worried that, you know, it's a little harder to sell right now than it was during COVID. Lots of people wanted pets and it was a lot easier to, to sell animals. Now it's a little more difficult. One thing Balls of Fury is doing a really good job with their social media and their YouTube is helping to teach newer people and get new people excited and, and to be a part of, of our community. So obviously when it comes to trying to sell something, if you have more people that are interested, uh, that, that helps to move things along and, and also means there's more people keeping and breeding and excited about the animals we all love. So I really, really love seeing that from Balls of Fury. Definitely. As far as, uh, you know, we mentioned the market research -y stuff. So last week we uh, took a poll. We wanted your input on um, how we, we should go forward with possibly restructuring our uh, panel testing. So we asked you guys, what panel test are you most likely to use? Um, and, you know, right now it's got a 30 gene morph panel um, for $130, uh, but we wanted your feedback. So here were the options. Those were the one big panel um, or mega panel um, of all known ball python tests, uh, as many as we can fit into one test, basically. Um, the second option was the top 30, where we take a look at all of the, um, all of the, tests that we've sold in our panels last or panels or any tests, I guess, right, Ben? Yeah. yeah. Um, over the last year and yeah. uh, stick the top 30 into that. Um, we have an all recessives and all incomplete dominance uh, option. And then of course the all small panels. Uh, so it's like your blue eyed Lucy, your, your, your complex panels or like your uh, similar ones like the albinos. They're not all one complex, but they are, different albino strains. And so if you want to just test for all of those and see which ones you're working with, you can have that. And it would be a fast test that is a one to two day turnaround as opposed to three to five week turnaround for all of the other options. Um, and th as you see, the results are in and people liked the mega panel and the uh, all recessive, specifically recessives, not necessarily the all incomplete dominance based on the comments. Yeah, yeah, those somewhat surprising that the the top vote was for the mega panel for everything we yeah. do that that's something that people will really appreciate and that's that's good that helps us to know that and mm -hmm. then number two definitely seemed to be a, an all recessive panel people really want to have that as an option so you don't necessarily have to pay for the mega panel you get the the tests that you're most interested in those recessive tests uh, at a at a lower price than you know what the mega panel will be where you're testing for everything so right so I really like that feedback that's very helpful and and is awesome the I think we got what was it, like around 150 votes yeah um I think 140 yeah 149 which is a yeah. really great turnout for us um we're we're grateful cool. um and honestly I the the results were the opposite of what I expected I thought the top 30 would be uh would be one of the most popular ones in the small panels, but uh, what do I know? I'm, I'm, I'm colubrid people. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, 
thank you all of you. Uh, we felt double double thankful this week with uh, all of the interest with the twenty five percent off sale, and then all the feedback on our on our poll, and that that really helps us as we're getting to the end of twenty twenty four, and we're thinking about what we want to do in twenty twenty five. This is the perfect time to give us feedback. We got lots of comments in social media and in the comments on YouTube, and those are all really really helpful. Definitely. Um, and for the second part of that, we're going to kind of like narrow that window even further for the panel tests. We want to talk about the speed of how we're getting you those results. So is it worth essentially, is it worth to pay a little more for a two week, about a two week turnaround for panels instead of the current three to five week turnaround? So would you pay more for a little bit faster? Do you, would you prefer that? Or would you prefer that we keep, steady on with what we're doing. Um, and yeah, uh, Ben, I'll let you take it from here. Yeah. So some, some labs will give you an option. Maybe this would be an option eventually, but you can like pay extra to expedite. Um, but to start off with more than likely what we would be doing is, is either aiming for, um, scaling the panel test, which whichever ones we choose, which now we know, you all would really like to have all tests as one panel and then recessives as another, all recessives as another panel. Um, but as we kind of optimize and work towards that, it will help us to know if it's a priority to have that, those results quickly. So I know some people, when I've talked to people at shows, they're like, yeah, I don't really care too much, whether it's two weeks or four or five weeks, it doesn't matter to me. Like, you know, that's that many tests. I don't mind waiting a little bit, but then other people are like, yeah, you know, like those, if you can cut the time in half, if we're going from like, you know, about four weeks to get my panel results, to cut that down to only be like two weeks. Um, and in some cases, if your shed happens to come in right before we do the run, you probably even get your panel results within a week. Um, so it, it would essentially cut the run time, the turnaround time in half. And so if that's something really valuable to you, we would love to hear that, love to see that. And we'll, we'll put another poll up. And you yep. can say, yes, I would, uh, that would be worth it to me to pay more to get those results in half the time. Um, but, you know, if most people are like, yeah, two weeks, four weeks, doesn't really matter to me, then we know, okay, it's not worth spending the time to make it faster because it's just, it's just the same for our customers, whether it's two weeks or four weeks. So, so we really want to hear from you uh, what you think, uh, any, any panels you run now, like we said, the smaller panels, like the yellow belly panel, the blue eyed Lucy panel, those will be done as fast tests. So those will come back quick, but like the all recessive panel or the kind of the mega panel, like Kayla was calling it, the, mm -hmm. the whole thing. Um, those ones we will not be able to do in one to two days anytime soon. Maybe, maybe down the road, we keep getting faster and stuff like that. Eventually we could, but uh, for now, a one to two week turnaround is probably as fast as we could get it in 2025, um, at least the first half of 2025. Mm -hmm. um, but everything's based on volume. So if all of a sudden we're getting way more, uh, way more tests coming in, you know, getting paid for, then we can make stuff even faster. So, but yeah, that that's what we want to know. Is it is it worth a little more money to get it in half the time or is it yeah two weeks or four weeks doesn't really matter to me. I'd rather keep the price down as as low as it could possibly be. And I don't mind waiting four or five weeks. All right. Well, just let us know, guys. Uh, the poll will go up at the same time as this episode drops. So uh, and this, I'll have it linked in the description as soon as possible afterward. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. You'll probably get a notification as well if you click the little bell um, uh, down in the doobly-doo uh, for the description. So do that. Let us know. If you haven't um, clicked the bell yet, now you should. <laughs> please do. Get call to action. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. And now uh, we'll go to our Shed Donor shout out, who is Summer Snakes. Um, if you're into Pituopus, Summer Snakes is your go-to, um, which makes me really happy because I have a love for, I love some bits. I want to get one one day. <laughs> um, and uh, so, Ben, what what have they, what, what have they donated? <laughs> So I got a package from Summer. Yeah. Uh, she's given me a whole bunch of pituophus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's not even all of them. That's just what I could grab in my two hands. So Awesome. So thank you so much, Summer. Um, and she, I don't know for sure what the problem was, but she actually got them all boxed up, sent to me. 
And then a few days later, uh, they got returned to her. And so she had to resend them again with the, whatever the problem was with the address or mm -hmm. barcoding or something. But anyway, thank you, Summer, for, for taking the time to gather those and, and send them. And uh, her, uh, her parents are the ones, uh, Dan and Colette Sutherland, that I worked with when I did my dissertation. So it's fun to to hear from them see that i i've seen her parents at some of the shows as well but that's cool anyway yeah I, and she has a youtube channel and and mm -hmm. puts out some some cool content and i recognize some of that as as a, the facility where they have their animals and very very cool place cool people and cool history that her parents have been working i think I think her, if I remember right, Colette had a ball python that was born in 1990. Ooh. Like the last time I talked to her about it, they still had that animal. I guess in the last three or four years, maybe that's changed, but they've got they've got a ball, one of the longest lived ball pythons in a in a private collection that I know of anyway. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I hope it's I hope it's still kicking. I yeah. love I love el elderly, elderly animals, snakes included. Um, yeah, if you check out Summer's videos, it's very clear that she's got a lot of excitement and love for for Pituophis and mm -hmm. different colors and patterns and things. And so very cool uh, to see that content getting put out, but then also willing to take the time to pull sheds and, and send them in so we can develop tests. So love it, Summer. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, and like we said, we, like we always say, we really can't do this uh, without you guys contributing this genetic material from your snake sheds. Um, and that's how we develop new tests. So uh, this sort of thing, what Summer did is a huge step forward to hopefully someday providing, uh, being able to offer morph tests for Pituophis. So yeah. fingers crossed. I know I'd love that, uh, especially as a Colubrid nerd. Um, so Thank you guys for, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching today. Uh, we hope that um, you'll participate in the polls. Co leave a comment below. Um, comment on the poll itself if you'd like. If you have um, any particular uh, input on how we're moving forward with panels. So we really appreciate all of that information from you guys. It you really could also, you could also oh. throw in there, say, yeah, to me, it's worth $5 to be faster twenty dollars to be faster or, yes and you, know, you could in the comments you can be even more specific mm -hmm. be like no i don't care at all or you'd be like oh i would pay twenty dollars more if it means i get it in half the time so yeah, let, exactly. us, let us know what you think yeah what's your price uh <laughs> so thank you guys again like comment subscribe um i know it's a little bit of a um we're doing a little more business stuff in this episode, but we really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. And um, we hope that you have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Outro in three, two, one.